Well, hi everybody, welcome to my latest video. In this one, I'm going to do a product review of a little electronic device that some people may find handy. It's a video converter from UCEC. Now, I've reviewed products from this company before, and yet again, this is another one that they've sent to me at no charge, but under no obligation on what this video should look like or what the video is before it goes up. I have total control of that, full disclosure. This product will allow you, if you have some legacy equipment and some legacy content that you need converted over to your PC, this will help quite a bit. It allows you to take some older devices and transform them into regular digital format. At least that it's supposed to do. After opening the box, I will go ahead and test that. Now, in order to do the right testing, I had to bring in some old stuff, and I wasn't even sure it was all going to work, to be honest with you. For example, I have this old camera here. It is a digital camera, but it records on a digital tape, an eight millimeter digital tape. So if I eject the tape on it, pushing this little button here, a little door pops open and the tape comes out. Still work. I haven't used this camera in probably about 15 to 18 years. And it's a DAT tape, a digital tape, that I actually had a reader and writer for it on an old computer of mine where I could use the same or similar type tape, different capacity, to do backups to the tape. But you close it by pushing it back in, and then it, it brings itself back in again. I plugged it in, let the battery charge again. I don't know how long the battery will stay charged, but if I open up the fully articulating little screen here, and I take off the lens cap, I'll turn it around so we can see what it's looking at. And there you go, it actually is working. And I can record with it. Now I'm not gonna do that, although I did do a sample just to make sure it still does record and it does. But the purpose of this is not to see how this camera works. The purpose of this is to take the output from this camera, which is coming out through a old cable, since it doesn't have HDMI, that didn't exist when this camera, at least it wasn't available publicly, it uses this. It has a video out, this yellow connector. It has a white and red for left and right audio, so you get the full stereo. Other devices also have an S-video cable, which has them all into a little round cable. And I'll show more of that as I progress through this. So that's the camera I had to pull out of my old attic and storage. But in addition to that, just to make sure it's working with different types of equipment, I also brought out this old VCR DVD player recorder. Again, this thing is probably about 20 years old. And it's, I first bought this when DVDs first were becoming popular. Now this is not Blu-ray, regular DVDs. It has a regular VCR in it, a VHS VCR. And I had a bunch of old videos on VCR that I wanted converted over to DVD. And this device actually worked very well for that. It also has on it the ports, all in the back here, that can output the same type of signal configuration. The red, the white, and the yellow. It also has the ability to do S-video. That's this little connectors right here. And that it takes both S video in and S video out, just like it takes in both uh, input and output for the, the standard 3 BNC cable configuration. So I'm going to be using this to test out this video card as well. But let me now go ahead and do a box opening of this, and you can see what comes in the package. Okay, so here's the package. Let me open this guy up. Looks like it has one single little round cellophane tape on it. See what's in here. Looks like it goes this way. Okay, so here we go. I guess this is the actual device. And it already comes attached with a USB 2.0 cable on it. It's got actually the Four, it's got the three that I just showed you on the other legacy equipment. It's got the video, which is yellow, the left and right, which is the red and white. And then it also has the S-Video connector. So if you have one that's S-Video output, this is a little bit higher quality than these. Then it looks like they give you an extra cable in case you have to do a conversion, I guess. This one here has all females on it. So this is a male to male in case you have to convert over, but they didn't give for the S video. I do have an S video male to male somewhere. What else we got in here? We got a warranty card. We got some software, some video conversion software. I'm not sure if I'm going to need that. I'm hoping this is plug and play and I'll plug in a device and it'll output directly to USB. 
but we'll find out. And then it's got an instruction booklet. I'm gonna check to see if they have one online as well because I don't like to have these small ones. I like to have the bigger ones. And then that's it. So anyway, that's what's inside the box. Let me go ahead and hook it up and see how it works. Okay, now we're ready for a little bit of a test here. Okay, let's hook up the three cables, the white, the red, and the yellow, and see what happens. I have the camera off right now. Let me plug in the UCEC video converter into one of my USB ports. No sound, but let's see if I turn the camera on now. And then I'll open up the camera application on Windows and see what it said was what it looks like. I have to switch cameras. And there we go. There's my hand. The camera's coming through okay. There's my background. And there's me. Okay. Need more lighting for this camera. It's not very high definition for low light, but it seems to work. So that's a good start to it. Okay, now let's run OBS and see what it does. Bring up OBS. Camera's off again. I turned it off. I'm looking down in the sound area down here, the audio mixer. Let me turn the camera on while we look at that and see what happens. Let's see if it picks up something from, oh, there it is. Now the camera is providing sound to OBS. So I don't even have to do that checkbox I usually have to do for oddball devices. It picked it up right away. But now I have to add in that device to the scene one. Click on the plus, click on video capture device. I'm not gonna give it any particular name, but I'm gonna say okay to this. Okay, it always defaults to the 4K60. Let me change that to, oh, here it is, AV to USB 2.0. Say okay to that. And there we are. We popped up in a little window. It's watching my hand. My fingers are clicking. Let me open this up a little bit here. We can see a little bit better. And now if I take it and I do the same test we did before, I can come around. Let me look right at myself this time. And there I am. Okay. So it's working through OBS just fine. And it's connected to the UCEC video converter card. Very nice. Okay, let me try the VCR now. Let me see, I can move this around any way I want, actually. That's a normal feature of uh, OBS. Let me unplug the camera and plug in the VCR. Okay. I think I got to hit play on the VCR. We're going into play mode. Oh, here we go. So it works. Wow. Okay. I won't show this for too long. Let me stop this. It does work. Oh, let me switch over to the S video first. Just got to switch this one cable, pull out the yellow, plug in the S video. Oh, wait a minute. The S video does not work with the VCR. It only works with the DVD, so I'll try that again with the DVD in a moment. Okay, now let me uh, resize this a little bit as before I try the DVD. I'll put a DVD in and we'll see what happens. I may have to cut, block, or blur some parts of this just to avoid any problems with YouTube. So if you see some funny things happening or hearing, you, that, that's the reason. The video, I'll actually capture it and then I'll show it to everybody at the end. So I'm recording right now, actually, and I'll show that video at the end of this. Jet fighter, cartoon simulated or graphic simulated. Well, that looks pretty good. Well, let me disconnect the yellow cable and put S video on and see what happens here. Whoa, it, much more dramatic improvement than I recall happens with this huh well, that's pretty good okay so you're not going to hear sound now because I have it blocked off and just using the sound from my microphone but when I play it back you'll be able to hear the sound I think that's good enough right there
Well, that completes this review of the UCEC video converter. Nice little device. It was plug and play. And I tested it with a legacy camera, a legacy VCR DVD player, and everything worked fine. I liked, I actually liked how well it did. Now, there was some software that came with it too, a little CD, as you recall, from the box opening. I did not test that for two reasons. One was when I went to install it, obviously it wanted my administrator password and I'm not gonna install software that easily on my engineering workstation. But secondly, it would have really doubled the length of this video if I had tried to review their software. It's pretty straightforward, simple little editing program. It has the ability to blend them together and put titles and, you know, I already have all of that. If you're into video editing, you should probably get that too. You can do a lot of that with OBS. So there's no point in even you know, paying money for something if you want to have something that's very, very powerful. And as you saw, I was able to test this device regularly with the Windows camera utility and also with OBS. And as you saw, the little clip that actually came out of OBS, it actually did an extremely good job. I was amazed, especially when I switched it to S-Video, which is much more impressive than I remember, as opposed to the regular little yellow video out connector. So good device. I like it. And hopefully you got something out of this video. And if you did, do me a favor and at least consider subscribing to my channel. It'd be very helpful. Well, until the next time, take care and be safe.